Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman presented the budget for the financial year 2025-26 in Parliament today. What did she say on the issue of climate change and what was missing? Let's take a look. Sitharaman announced the government's plans to boost manufacturing of solar PV cells, EV batteries, wind turbines and other clean technologies to increase clean energy generation in India. She also announced the exemption of basic custom duty on critical minerals including cobalt powder and waste, lithium-ion battery scrap, lead and other critical minerals to aid their processing by MSMEs. The exemption of customs duty on cobalt will enable lithium-ion battery manufacturing. The removal of BCD on lithium-ion battery scrap can boost recycling of EV batteries. Experts say that these policy changes need to be further supported by infrastructure development for recycling, transportation and ease of importing lithium-ion battery scrap from other countries. Nirmala Sitharaman also announced the development of 100 gigawatts of nuclear energy by 2047 under the Nuclear Energy Mission with proposed amendments to the Atomic Energy Act and the Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage Act to enable private sector partnerships. Additionally, Rs 20,000 crores were allocated for research into indigenous small modular reactors by 2033. However, it should be noted that the total budget estimate for the Department of Atomic Energy, the nodal agency for the implementation of nuclear energy missions, has been reduced by Rs 402 crores this year. This year's budget does emphasize the Union government's plans of mitigating climate change through clean energy transition. But does it do enough to equip the country to adapt to the adverse impacts of climate change? In the budget document, the National Adaptation Fund, the Climate Change Action Plan, along with two other schemes, have been moved to the category of non-scheme without clear budget estimates. This, despite the government highlighting the importance of adaptation in the economic survey published on January 31. While the budget puts a lot of focus on mitigating climate change in India, more needs to be done on the adaptation front.